एवरी वन वेलकम टू माई चैनल ऑल अबाउट बायोलॉजी एंड दिस इज ज्योति वर्मा एंड टूडे वी विल डिस्कस अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक दैट इज स्पाइक ऑफ स्पाइक लेट एंड इट्स टर्म्स रिलेटेड टू दैट टॉपिक बिकॉज यू कैन रिमेंबर अबाउट द कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ फैमिली ग्रामनी और फैमिली पोइसी वेरी इजिली बट मोस्ट ऑफ द स्टूडेंट्स गेट कन्फ्यूज विद दीज टर्म्स लाइक द स्पाइक स्पाइक लेट रैकिस रैकिला लेमा पेलिया ओके सो इन दिस वीडियो वी विल ओनली टेक अप दीज basic terms and we will clear your concepts related to the terms like spikes and spikelets okay and the example that i have taken in this video in order to make the concept clear is of triticum astivum okay so this inflorescence is of triticum astivum that you call it as wheat and this inflorescence is termed as spike of spikelet so this whole inflorescence is called as a spike and in the diagrammatic representation as you can see it is a lateral view of wheat spike okay so this one this whole structure is the spike and this spike consist of lots of small tiny structures which are referred to as spikelets okay so this uh, single structure that you are watching here is the spikelet okay this this one is the spikelet this one is the spikelet okay all these are the spikelets that are arranged on a common axis in the form of a spike so it is called as spike of spikelets if you look at the inflorescence here then you can see different views at different angles for example if you are looking the inflorescence from this angle then you can simply see that there are some spikelets which are arranged alternately over a common axis and this whole structure we call it as a spike okay so if you rotate the inflorescence to certain angle then you can see a different view of this these are the spikelets which are arranged like this this structure that you are looking at here is a spikelet okay above to it is a spikelet okay so at different angles of the inflorescence you can see a different view so you can see this view from this angle and you can see a planar view from this angle that makes a more interesting appearance of this type of inflorescence okay you can see it very clearly that how the in, how the spikelets are arranged here and how the overall arrangement arrangement is going on there in this case so this one is your spikelet as i have drawn it here let me zoom it for you you can see it clearly okay this one is the spikelet here this structure only this structure is the spikelet okay and in this spikelet once you open this spikelet you will be able to see certain structures which we will discuss it here now so now we are going to remove a single spikelet from this spike and then we will study the structure of the spikelet okay so now we have removed a single spikelet from this spike and this spikelet will look like this now we are going to dissect this spikelet and we are going to discuss the structure of the spikelet so till now we have detached up a spikelet from the spike of triticum astivum this one is your spikelet and now we are going to open up this spikelet and after opening up this spikelet will look like this and we will study all the floral structures inside this spikelet so before going to the practical point of view let's discuss about the diagrammatic portion of the spikelet of wheat so this is your spikelet of wheat and each spikelet basically consists of certain set of florets which are numbered here as floret 1 2 3 4 5 6 okay it is not necessary that the number of floret may be 5 or 6 it is uh, just a diagrammatic representation in order to make you more clear the concepts okay and the florets here are attached to one another by means of a structure which is called as the rachilla then each spikelet each spikelet has two small scaly structures which are mentioned as gloom okay and the glooms are regarded as bracts basically 
so each floret is enclosed by a structure at its base it has a structure which is called as the inferior palea which is also mentioned as lemma and lemma has a characteristic pointed structure which is called as on okay and on the upper side there is palea which is regarded as superior palea okay and both the paleas are regarded as the bracteoles here then between the center portion between the lemma and the palea there are the floral structures and you have basically two lodicules two small transparent lodicules which are regarded as the tepals three stamens and a single central ovary that is having two feathery stigma so these are the floral structures that are present within a floret okay so that is basically the overall structure of the spikelet and now we will move on to the practical aspect of it now we are going to dissect out the spikelet of triticum astivum so as we have discussed it earlier in the diagrammatic representation that these two structures are basically the glooms which are designated as gloom 1 and gloom 2 then these gloom encloses certain florets these are certain florets when we will open these florets we will find certain floral structures inside them so let's open these structures now so you can remove this structure with the help of this needle and then separating out these structures like that you can see this clearly so this structure that you are watching here is the lemma that is having a pointed structure which is called as on and this structure that you are watching here is the palea this structure is basically the palea and in between there is ovary which is developing here having a feathery stigma so this is your one floret similarly you can open the other floret you will find the same structures there also so similarly we are opening the other floret this is the lemma of the other floret that is having the on this is the ovary in between that is having a feathery stigma and this one is the palea similarly we are coming to our next floret this is also a floret a kind of floret coming to next one coming to here this is also a floret we can also open this floret we can open this floret with the help of a needle when we slightly place a needle here then both the structures will separate out like this and in between you can see a small rounded whitish structure that is the ovary having feathery stigma that structure that you are watching here with a pointed on is the lemma and this one is the palea so this is your third floret or fourth floret similarly next to it is another floret and you can open it similarly as we have done earlier you can open it with the help of needle like that just to separate it out with the help of needle very lightly and you can see the structures there this one is your lemma that is having a pointed on here this one is your palea and in between them there there are ovary that is having a feathery stigma at the base there should be lodicules but the lodicules are very small tiny so these are not visible at this time the lodicules are very small transparent structures and there uh, are three stamens that should be available there but these are not available there at this moment 
but in some flowers you will be able to see three stamens at this position also so this is your another floret so that is your uh, structure of spike gland that basically consists of two glooms and rest of them are the florets you can open all the florets each floret will have a lemma that will have a on and a pelia in between the lemma and the pelia you will have the structures which are called as the transparent structures at the base which are called as the lodicules which are not available at this point in this uh, portion and uh, above to it you can find ovary which is a whitish structure that is having a feathery stigma and here you can find three stamens also in some of the spikelets then coming to next floret you can find the same situation in all the florets so that is the structure of spikelet in the case of triticum astivum wheat hope that it is clear to you if you like the video just subscribe to my channel for further updates thank you so much